It's time for exciting live and local sports action on Richmond's very own WBON-TV, the leader in local sports television. Watch live on your big screen with the WBON-TV Roku channel or by streaming the live player at WBONTV.com and support these great local sponsors who support our community. Now, here's your announcers for the game. Good evening and welcome into Madison Central High School, everybody. We appreciate you joining us here on WBON TV. Tom Gross, Michael Watkins here up in the booth with you on a Friday night. It's not football, Tom. We've got the Friday night lights on the hardwood tonight. And we got Great Crossing and Madison Central. Right now, the JV game is going down on the floor. And Great Crossing with a big lead over the Madison Central JV team, which is a pretty good JV team because you got Hagen Harrison, who's got the ball right now for the Indians. And obviously, we know what kind of player he is. Not able to play on the varsity team this year because of him not being eligible to play on the varsity team. So he's playing JV ball, and he's out there playing pretty well. And we also saw Malachi Wood out there who's uh, trying to get back into shape after that injury, just trying to work his way back into getting ready for some big varsity minutes once he's ready for action. So uh, that's two of the big three pieces not playing for Madison Central this year. Kenyatta Harge, the other one out with the torn ACL. But uh, they're ready to go, and tonight it's Madison Central Great Crossing and should be a good one. Looking forward to it. Uh, uh, Michael Moreno's brother, Malachi, on this team, and uh, you can pick him out in a crowd. <laughs> and he is just a uh, rebounding machine <clears throat> yeah. for Great Crossing. The Warhawks coming in. Uh, good record on the year thus far, so uh, we'll see what happens here tonight. We can shoot the ball, though. I, I am... I did uh, some career stats for uh, the players that are currently playing for Madison Central this afternoon, and I am just totally amazed at their ability to shoot the rock out there. It's just the defense and uh, not too many turnovers, and, you know, they could beat a really good team here this evening. We're here live on WBON-TV Channel 9. It's the Moore and Law Office pregame show. The Moore and Law Office is fully committed to helping folks in Kentucky who have been hurt by being in a car accident, hit by a truck or company vehicle, slipping at a messy business, or who have been denied by the insurance company. You need a car accident lawyer in Richmond that you can trust. Trust Moore and Law Office right there on Main Street in Richmond. Call 855-358-0300. Or visit moreinlawoffice.com to get more information about what More in Law Office can do for you. And, Tom, as we you know, look ahead to tonight's game, it's a big one because you've got the number two ranked team RPI-wise in the 11th region right now, which is uh, – remember, number, see, number three, which is Madison Central versus number four, Great Crossing. Now, these two teams were number two and three going into yesterday. Lexington Catholic got a good win last night, so now they've moved up to second. But it's number three versus number four, as RPI would have it. And uh, we think it should be a good ball game tonight. You've got an athletic team in Great Crossing. Talking to Coach Feldhaus earlier this evening about this matchup, I said, you know, can you give me a scouting report on Great Crossing? He said they're very, very quick and athletic. And that could be a problem for a Madison Central team, which has some good size inside, and they've got some good shooters. But athleticism is not really the forte for the Madison Central Indians. Yeah, they got uh, West, who uh, comes off the bench for them. As, not uh, anymore. Oh, not he's starting now, huh? No, not on the team anymore. Oh, my God. Yeah, breaking news there for oh, you. So I no guess more Jaden West. Wow. Yeah, yeah Jaden West no longer with the team. Uh, not sure exactly what the issue is there, but Jaden West no longer with the team playing basketball. Now, he is getting ready for football season. We know how kind of athlete he is. Yeah, yeah but yeah, I just was like, wow. Yeah, that's... he's the best athlete on the team. Yeah. He's no longer with the team. So that's well, a big that... athlete that would be at the disposal of Madison Central, not on the team, not going to be playing here tonight. So. Well, like you say, if you, you take him out of the game, yeah. probably the fastest player up and down the court on the team. So. Wow, that, that, that's, a, that's a big loss there for Madison Central. Big loss, and, and it hurts their depth for a team that doesn't have much depth already. So uh, that will be something that we'll pay attention to as we go throughout the game tonight as well. Again, here on the Moore and Law Office pregame show, folks, if you see these great sponsors, go by and tell them thank you, whether it's you know Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance, uh, Jack Burford Chevrolet, Bishop Small Engine Repair, Galaxy Bowling Center, or Galaxy Bowling Center, excuse me, go by. 
patronize them because, you know, listen, in a time like right now when you can come out and watch some really good basketball, maybe you can't get out. Go out and support those people that support us and allow us to bring you this great local sports coverage. We're going to be uh, back at Madison Southern for a couple of games next week. We've been covering Model and Berea last night in the All-A Classic, which, by the way, congratulations to the All-A uh, uh, Classic uh, 11th Region Champions, the Berea Lady Pirates, who got the big victory last night or yesterday because uh, Sayer having to forfeit because of COVID protocols. So uh, congratulations to the Berea Lady Pirates as they advance to uh, the All-A State Tournament for the fourth straight year. So congratulations to them. Uh, as for us here in Richmond tonight, we'll step aside for a short commercial break here on the game, and we'll come right back to the Moran Law Office pregame show, and we'll get you set for all kinds of not good basketball action coming your way this evening here in Richmond. We'll be right back on WBON-TV Channel 9. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Espo County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cuckoo Grasshopper, Echo, and Shandawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. What does in transit mean? When you see that on our website at jackburford.com, it means your favorite Chevy is on the way. Call us at 859-623-3350 to reserve it, and we'll keep you updated throughout the entire process. See, it's that easy. Reserve your new Chevy today at jackburford.com. Your vehicle is now in transit. I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Jerry Goble in Richmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Orthopedic and Sport Physical Therapy will help guide you on your road to recovery. It is our mindset, a spirit driven to excellence, to help people heal faster and better. If you have pain or an injury or you need experts in sports medicine, Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy is your best choice in rehabilitation and you have direct access. In most cases, you do not need a referral to any of our seven locations serving the region. Just give OSPTKY a call. Visit our website at OSPTKY.com to find the location nearest you. Here are some helpful tips to get your house ready for winter. Make sure your filter is changed. Typical locations are at your air handler or furnace in a filter grill or an air cleaner like this. If you have other accessories on your system, like UV lights or a humidifier, now would be the time to service those. Make sure your ceiling fans are set to clockwise rotation. Go ahead and close those foundation vents. Disconnect your garden hoses from your outdoor spigots. Have Madison HVAC keep you warm this winter. Give us a call at 859-625-1471. And remember, we fix that too. Citizens Guarantee Bank makes banking on the go a breeze. Banking on the go has never been easier with options like balance inquiries, make payments from any mobile device, transfer funds between accounts, activate or deactivate a card with just a tap. And with mobile checking deposit, you can deposit checks straight into your eligible checking account using your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Take advantage of all these fast, convenient, and secure services of Citizens Guarantee Bank. Mobile carrier charges and rules and restrictions may apply. See bank for details. Citizens Guarantee Bank member FDIC. Equal housing with. Can you get into your doctor's office the day you call? The best medical practitioner is there when you need them. At White House Clinics, all patients get easy VIP access to exceptional care. Right now, White House physicians are accepting new patients in Jackson, Madison, Estill, Rockcastle, and Garrett counties. 
Go to whitehouseclinics.com or one of our nine state-of-the-art facilities to request a new patient appointment. Back here on WBON TV Channel 9, Tom Gross, Michael Watkins here with you on a Friday night. Folks, we hope you're enjoying tonight. Tom, the snow is about to make its way back into Richmond. Uh, we had, what, almost 10 inches last weekend, yeah. and here we are uh, expecting more in our direction, in our very near future coming in. Maybe tonight, as early as tonight, I've seen some places predicting it, but I don't, I mean, I don't know. I, I like the snow, but I'm... Already kind of sick of it. Yeah, it's we uh, w we got enough to uh, amount for what the normal average total is for yeah. the entire winter in one dropping. So if we get any more, it's going to be a record-setting year as far as snowfall is concerned. But we used to call it the White Death. Uh, people get so freaked out about it, and there's really nothing to get freaked out yeah. about. You know, if it's too bad to drive, you sit for a spell and then let them get the roads cleaned off, and then you can get back out and go. But I, I don't look forward to it. The thing I don't like about it is, is they're predicting that we might, depending on where the temperature line get a little is, rain too. Get, get some rain yeah. or some ice with the snow. And I about killed myself last year on that ice we had. We had like three inches well, of ice. Well, if you ice. remember, Coach Feldhouse fell. And yeah. like, I don't know if he broke his foot, but he injured his foot really bad and had to have surgery. And he was in a walking boot for a while and had to coach from a, like a, a wheelchair. So yeah, I remember it was, that. Yeah. It was hard for Coach Feldhouse last year, too, who got injured. We are here live on the Moore and Law Office pregame show. They're fully committed to helping folks in Kentucky who have been hurt by being in a car accident, hit by a truck or company vehicle, slipping out of messy business, or who have been denied by the insurance company. You need a car accident lawyer in Richmond that you can trust, and that's Morin Law Office at 859-358-0300 or visit morinlawoffice.com. Tom Gross, Michael Watkins here with you. And, Tom, looking at this game tonight, Madison Central, great crossing. It's time for the Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance Star Watch. And tonight there's several stars playing in this game. For great crossing, Vince Dawson leading the way, averaging 16.8 points per game. Dawson, really good player for Great Crossing and uh, also a, a pretty good shooter, knocking down 29.7% of his three-point attempts this year. He also got uh, Janias Burrell. Janias Burrell averaging 12 points per game. And then you got Malachi Moreno, the younger brother of Michael Moreno, who played at Scott County all those years, was a thorn in the side of Allen Feldhouse Jr. in Madison Central for so long. He's now playing over at Eastern Kentucky University. And Malachi Moreno averaging a double-double this year at 11.9 points and 12.3 rebounds. So Vince Dawson, Malachi Moreno, and Burrell, the three guys to watch out for for great crossing. And look at Dawson, their top scorer, Burrell, the second leading scorer, and Moreno, the third leading scorer, averaging a double-double. All three of them, Tom, are freshmen. So that's a big deal. Those are oh, your stars man. to watch out for for great crossing. For Madison Central, it's three guys doing a little bit of everything. And then you got the core four with Trace Gags added in there. And that's Jalen Davis, Robbie Todd, and Will Harden. Harden's had some monster games this year. Had a 37-point performance against Harlan County a couple of weeks ago. He's averaging 19.9 points per game. Jalen Davis averaging 17. And Robbie Todd averaging 12.6 a game for the Indians, Will Harden also pulling in 9.6 rebounds a game. So those are your stars to watch out for tonight. And like a good neighbor, those players are there for their teams. All those players there for Great Crossing and Madison Central, like a good neighbor, are there for their respective teams. And like a good neighbor, Jerry Goble State Farm Insurance is there for you. Visit jerrygobleinsurance.com to learn more about what Jerry Goble State Farm can do for you. And, Tom, you may even find out about an insurance you may not have even knew that you needed, courtesy of Jerry Goble State Farm right there off Boggs Lane and uh, Main Street here in Richmond. You know, a lot of people, I rent, and a lot of people that rent don't realize that it's really a good idea to have what they call renter's yeah. insurance. And uh, Jerry can help you out with that. Just give him a call or stop in and see him and tell him, you know, I rent, and I, I heard on the broadcast that I really need to check into renter's insurance. If, you're, if there would be a fire like we had yep. here uh, in town and you lose everything, you got to have that stuff covered or you're going to be out some major bucks. So uh, stop by and see him. He'll take care of you. 
Folks, we appreciate you joining us here. Don't forget, every single weekday, the Live at 5 WBON TV newscast from 5 to 5.30 each weekday afternoon on WBON TV Channel 9. We have local news, weather, and sports for you on WBON TV. So make sure to check that out on the stream, on the Facebook, YouTube channel, on the Roku channel, or you can watch it live on the TV channel as well. And that's where we're at tonight, all those locations and on the TV channel. You can watch this game between Madison Central and Great Crossing. The Warhawks are out there warming up. Madison Central will make their way to the court here in just a few moments. We'll step aside for one more commercial break and come right back. We're here live on WBON-TV Channel 9. Looking for some fun this fall? The Galaxy Bowling Center has a league for you. No matter your skill level, you can come out, make some new friends, and have a great time. Call 624-4444 for details. Or if you're more of a trivia person, Champions Bar and Grill has you covered every Tuesday starting at 7 with great prizes and all-you-can-eat wings for only $19.99. Why go anywhere else? The Galaxy Bowling Center and Champions Bar and Grill. Your ticket to fun just off I-75, exit 87 in Richmond. Hometown Dental prides themselves on being on the cutting edge of the latest dentistry technology. In a time where safety and their customers' well-being is of the highest importance, Hometown Dental is taking every precaution necessary, like by allowing patients to fill out their paperwork online before coming in for their first visit. Visit HometownDentalRichmond.com to see what sets Hometown Dental apart from the rest. They accept most insurances and want you to know they are here to help. Hometown Dental on Atwood Drive in Richmond or visit their offices in Stanford and Lancaster. When I started to experience the world from practicing law, it showed me that there's a lot of injustice that can be corrected. We're called personal injury attorneys, but I'm not there for the injury. I'm there for the recovery. And that's what we try to do. We try to help people recover after they've been hurt. If the big firms are going to drop you as soon as your claim entails some kind of work, some kind of additional effort, why not just come to someone who's going to put the work in in the first place? At Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, the health and safety of our patients is important. Along with following CDC guidelines, we have added a jade unit, a medical grade air purifier in every operatory. Our new patient special, x-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride is only $99. We offer patients single visit restorations on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. We are equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. Call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-985-0201. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today with no payments for six months and low rates. There's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. At Madison Drug, Charles and his staff know your time is valuable and will work to get you in and out quickly. We have a convenient drive through and offer free delivery. For vaccinations, just walk right in. No appointment necessary. Madison Drug, Richmond's hometown pharmacy. Back here on WBON TV Channel 9, Tom Gross, Michael Watkins, got cameraman Alex Carbosh, our producer Gage Hill, Dawson Rogel to be doing some sideline reporting for us tonight, and then Samantha Burford will be there to interview Alan Feldhouse Jr. during the game. And Tom, you look out there, this Madison Central team going to be without Jalen Davis tonight as well, not in uniform. So that's another piece of the puzzle not playing tonight as we look at our orthopedic sports and physical therapy injury report. Orthopedic sports and physical therapy located here in Richmond. You can check them out online at OSPTKY.com. And you may be wondering if you've got some pain that just continues to creep up on you. 
should you be worried about your pain? You can go online to OSPTKY.com and complete a 12-question quiz and find out whether your pain is likely to resolve on its own or if you should see a doctor. And there's several questions on there that you can answer and find out if maybe you should go see a doctor. And you can visit OSPTKY.com to find out more about that and find a location close to you with orthopedic sports and physical therapy. They'll get you back in the game. Madison Central again, no Jalen Davis. We see Hagen Harrison out there in street clothes, Tom, and no, no Kenyatta Hard. So it's almost like it was last year for Madison yeah, Central yeah. where there were players all season long in and out of the lineup, whether it be with injury or uh, with their quarantining. And then, you know, last year Jalen Davis lost his dad midway through the season. Yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that – can keep players out this year or you know in in the last couple of years that wasn't really a factor in years past and uh, Davis I'm assuming it's an injury for him no mask on or anything so I'm sure it's not anything coronavirus related or he probably wouldn't be out there so uh, Davis not playing tonight so an already you know thin roster for Allen Feldhouse Jr. gets even thinner with your second leading scorer not playing this evening yeah that's a big hurt especially against this team and uh, he, he looks to be walking a little gingerly right now. So I'm just wondering if it might not be. I know last year he had uh, ankle problems yeah. there for a couple of games. And uh, I'm, I'm just wondering if that's not it. But uh, hopefully he can get well and get right back at it here in the next game or two. So no Dylan Davis. And that's your orthopedic sports and physical therapy injury report. You know, Alan Feldhouse has done such a tremendous job with this program over the years. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame coach. And. And you see him there on the screen and what he's been able to do here, Tom. And what he was able to do last year was, you know, the team overcame so many obstacles uh, to become 11th region champion. And, you know, I, I, the 11th region is one of the, the toughest regions around the state. And, you know, you look even within the district, what Madison Southern is doing right now, how good of a team that they've got this year. And you know, they're trying to, to get to where these upper echelon teams are in the 11th region. Great Crossing is trying to do the same thing. You know, Madison Southern competing with, you know, a lineage like Madison Central has. Great Crossing in the same boat with Scott County. They're in the same county and same district that Scott County's in. So, you know, you look at it that way and you see these two teams here tonight. And Great Crossing with three really good freshman players that are stepping up and having big seasons for them. And, I think when you when you look at what Madison Central is doing this season with, again, some of the obstacles they're having to overcome, I, it's still pretty impressive that they've had the season they've had. You know, they've, They're not nearly where they want to be or maybe where they should be. But, you know, I don't know if anybody is really playing the best ball that they yeah. want to be playing right now midway through the year. Yeah, and it's tough. You know, you, it, it was quite, a, uh, quite an adjustment, like you said, with all of the uh, absences last year, coach getting hurt. You know, that puts a little hindrance on everything. But, boy, they sure put it together at the end of the season yeah. and uh, made it a lot of fun. And that's yeah. when it matters. That's yeah. when you want to be playing your best yeah. ball is heading into late February, early March. And right now the Indians are 8-6 and six on the year. Great Crossing is 11-3. and three. Central six losses have come to Pulaski County in overtime. And Pulaski County, if you're asking, well, how good is that team? Well, Pull up their schedule here on the KHSA yeah. website. And uh, how good is Pulaski County? Well, they have yet to suffer a defeat this season. They yeah. are 17-0. So that was the first loss of the year. Then they lost to GRC, who uh, is, you know, I depending on who you ask, the best team in the state potentially. Yeah, I think they are. I think they are. GRC beat Central on this four, 68 to 63 And then in the last five games, Central has lost four of the last five. They lost to Ballard, who at the time was ranked number one in the state. Yes. They lost to Woodford County, who at the time was a top 20 team in the state. They lost to Dunbar, who was one of the top teams in the region last year. And then they lost to North Laurel, who's got Reed Shepard and another top five team in the yeah. state. So yeah. all six of their losses have come to top 25 teams. And it's that gauntlet of a schedule that Alan Feldhouse plays every single year. And it's the reason he does that, to get his guys ready and prepared for the postseason. Well, it doesn't hurt to do that. You could. It doesn't matter if you go into the tournament with a record of 0 and 24. You know, if you don't have a win all year, if you're playing good basketball at tournament time, you have the opportunity, just like everybody else, to go in there, upset some teams, and take it all the way up to Rupp Arena. So uh, I... After watching what happened last year, I have full confidence not only in the coach but in these players that have been there now last year that, that they want to go back. And 
they're going to do and work hard and do anything that they can to try to get back there. Be interested to see who steps up for the Indians tonight with no Jalen Davis in the lineup. Again, no Jaden West on the roster anymore, so you open up a couple of holes there, and Parker Mullins has been getting the start uh, in some spots this year. We've seen Cody Magger get some playing time, Keith Stewart, Eli Steele, so be interested to see who Coach Feldhouse has in the lineup this evening with his team at home against the Great Crossing Warhawks. We're here live on the Moore and Law Office pregame show. We'll step aside for the commercial break, and we'll come back here, folks. Appreciate you joining us on WBON-TV Channel 9. Locally family-owned and operated, Bluegrass Restoration and Construction is a full-service construction company offering full-service home maintenance. Bluegrass Restoration specializes in wind, fire, and water damage and mold remediation. With 24-7 emergency services, Bluegrass Restoration and Construction is here to serve you during any emergency. All their services are performed in-house with no subcontractors. No job is too big or small for Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. Give them a call at 859-353-1133. It's frustrating when something unexpected happens to our vehicles. That's why Chris Thorne and the staff at CT Diesel Repair are here to ease that burden. They offer roadside service, can come haul your vehicle to the shop, and will keep you updated throughout the entire process. One thing that keeps our vehicles performing at their highest level is the tires we put on them. CT Diesel has great deals on tires right now, just in time for the colder weather ahead. Mention this ad and get a free rotating balance with any oil change at CT Diesel Repair. Visit ctdiesel.com. US for more information. Batteries Unlimited in Richmond can energize you when your batteries fade out. They can also cut and make most home and automobile keys, replace and program key fobs, and make copies of your house keys. Plus, cell phone screen repair. Bring in your Apple or Samsung today. We are your home for all batteries. Go see Chris at Batteries Unlimited. Commercial Drive in Richmond. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today with no payments for six months and low rates. There's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. Life can be so hectic. The most important moment in my life is my escape. The moments when I'm free from all of the notifications. The moments when I'm with you. You are my escape. Carissa Boutique. Simply unforgettable. At Madison Drug, Charles and his staff know your time is valuable and will work to get you in and out quickly. We have a convenient drive through and offer free delivery. For vaccinations, just walk right in. No appointment necessary. Madison Drug, Richmond's hometown pharmacy. Back here on WBON-TV Channel 9, Tom Gross, Michael Watkins on the Moore & Law Office pregame show. And, Tom, you know, with the temperature being what it is now, it's a good time to make sure that your heating and air unit is performing at its peak performance. And you want to give our friends over at Madison HVAC a call. Don't get stuck in the cold. Call 859-625-1471 or visit MadisonHVACR.com to learn what Madison HVAC can do for you. They're not just a heating and air unit place, folks. They'll fix stuff for you as well. Make sure to check out their website, Madison HVACR, to learn about all the different options that Madison HVAC can offer to you and your home. Tommy looking down there at this big, great crossing team, and that'll be one of the keys tonight for Madison Central is just how the Indians can go against the height that Great Crossing has. And Dawson Rule is down there on the sideline with an update on just how big this team is. Dawson? They sure do have a lot of length, Michael. Looking at them down here courtside, they're, they're getting warmed up, both teams. Uh, they've got some tall guys, and I think it's going to be a really physical game tonight. Hopefully the Indians can pull it out. Back to you, Michael. 
That's Dawson Rule. Appreciate Dawson being down there on the sideline for us as the Indians set to take on the Warhawks of Greg Crossing. Of course, Dawson Tom is a guy, a jack of many trades. Yeah. You know, he was running camera for us last night. He's been on the call with you and I both doing some games. Right. And he's down there being our sideline reporter this evening. So we appreciate Dawson Rule giving us a little bit of an update from down there courtside on this ball game between Madison Central and Great Crossing. Again, that's one of the many keys tonight for Madison Central victory. It is now time for the Jack Burford Chevrolet keys to the game. Tom from Madison Central, I believe it's getting um, – they got to get a big monster performance from Will Harden again. they got to find some way for – Madison Central and for Harden to get going early and often because they're going to have to be able to knock down those three-pointers and draw out those big athletic players from a great crossing away from the basket and open up holes for Robbie Todd inside and Trey Skaggs driving in as well. Yeah, I'm looking for a good game out of Trey tonight. You know what was interesting, looking at his years past here at Madison Central, uh, before COVID, he had a pretty good year the year before that, and yeah. then on, in the COVID year, man, it just was like, and, and, and it shows you how that has affected many of the athletes yeah. and many of the players. But looking for a really good game out of him tonight. Yeah, confidence with Trey has always been a big thing. When he's played with confidence, he's been a really good player, and he's showed that this year, the kind of season that he can have. And the Indians are going to need a big game from him tonight as the core four of Davis, Skaggs, Harden, and Todd are down to a, a big three, if you will, without Davis in the lineup tonight. Step aside for one more commercial break, folks. When we come back, we'll get you set for the tip-off delivered by Madison Drug here in Richmond. That's coming your way next on WBON-TV Channel 9. For over 40 years, Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory in Berea have been helping families through the hardest times in their lives. With traditional burial planning to cremation, the folks at Lakes can help you honor your loved ones with final arrangements. Lakes can also help pre-plan now. Let your family members know what you want and help ease their burden. Visit lakesfuneralhome.com to learn how easy it can be to pre-plan. Lakes Funeral Home and Crematory, the only on-site crematory in Madison County. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cup Cadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shandawa, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem! Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 till 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. Locally family owned and operated Bluegrass Restoration and Construction is a full service construction company offering full service home maintenance. Bluegrass Restoration specializes in wind, fire and water damage and mold remediation. With 24-7 emergency services, Bluegrass Restoration and Construction is here to serve you during any emergency. All their services are performed in-house with no subcontractors. No job is too big or small for Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. Give them a call at 859-353-1133. What does in transit mean? When you see that on our website at jackburford.com, it means your favorite Chevy is on the way. Call us at 859-623-3350 to reserve it, and we'll keep you updated throughout the entire process. See, it's that easy. Reserve your new Chevy today at jackburford.com. Your vehicle is now in transit. I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. 
After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets, cuckoo crusties. There's no promo, it's just great rates. And a cider ranch. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Jerry Goble in Richmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Orthopedic and Sport Physical Therapy will help guide you on your road to recovery. It is our mindset, a spirit driven to excellence, to help people heal faster and better. If you have pain or an injury or you need experts in sports medicine, Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy is your best choice in rehabilitation and you have direct access. In most cases, you do not need a referral to any of our seven locations serving the region. Just give OSPTKY a call. Visit our website at OSPTKY.com to find the location nearest you. Here are some helpful tips to get your house ready for winter. Make sure your filter is changed. Typical locations are at your air handler or furnace in a filter grill or an air cleaner like this. If you have other accessories on your system, like UV lights or a humidifier, now would be the time to service those. Make sure your ceiling fans are set to clockwise rotation. Go ahead and close those foundation vents. Disconnect your garden hoses from your outdoor spigots. Have Madison HVAC keep you warm this winter. Give us a call at 859-625-1471. And remember, we fix that too. Good to see the pep section back in action as they're here supporting their Madison Central Indians. And, Tom, it's the Indians versus Great Crossing getting you set for the tip-off here between the Indians and the Warhawks. They'll be in the green uniforms and the white numbers, white letters, green shorts. Madison Central in the white home unis, the white shorts. Blue letters, blue numbers outlined in red. And it looks like starting tonight for Madison Central, they got the five guys without the shooting shirts on. It'll be Parker Mullins at point guard and stepping into the starting lineup in place of Andrew Jalen Davis without that ankle injury. It's Elijah Steele starting for Madison yeah. Central. Good for him. Going to be fun to see how he does. And, you know, it's it's uh, they talk about this like in pro football, college football. Somebody goes down or somebody can't play, it's next man up. And when people come in, Tom Brady and take advantage of being a next man up and uh, look at his career now. And he's, all he did was step in and do his job. So let's see what Eli, Eli can do tonight and uh, see if he can't step in and maybe win a starting spot on this team. Who knows? So again, yeah, and, and I mean, you know, I think the good thing about this is, and we, you know, we see it with a lot of other teams that, you know, have to play young guys is, you know, sometimes those young guys, you, you might find something you didn't know you had. If yes. they go out there yes. and maybe they don't show it in practice or, you know, during the summer, but they go out there during a, a regular season game and can play good, good for you. And Madison Central, they really don't need a lot of scoring or anything else. They just need somebody that can get the ball up the floor yep. and maybe defend and get some rebounds. Yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be exciting to see how they handle the situation tonight, especially against a really good team. So here we go. We got Great Crossing versus Madison Central. Starting lineups presented by Galaxy Bowling Center. Stop by Galaxy Bowling Center for all kinds of family fun. If you're looking for some bowling, maybe the arcade, check out the pool tables over there as well. And for the adults, champions as well. That's a Galaxy Bowling Center over behind Steak and Shake and uh, in Richmond. So the starters for Great Crossing, we see number one for the Warhawks. It's Vince Dawson, the freshman top scorer. Malachi Moreno obviously will start. Number 11 is Gage Richardson, not to be confused with Gage Hill, our producer. Number 22 <laughs> is Ty Sherman. And at the forward position, can't see the number there, Tom, I believe. Did you get uh, Richardson? Spirell, Janier Spirell as the other starter. Right? No, it's the 24, excuse me, right? Yes. Moreno's 24. Okay, that's the other one I was looking for, yep. Yeah, Dawson, Moreno, Richardson, uh, Godfrey, and uh, Sherman. No relation to Bobby Sherman that I know of. <laughs> well, wasn't Sherman the guy from uh, – I was watching the show where the guy kept saying, Norma, I'm coming to join you. Oh, Sanford and Son. Sanford yeah, and that son. wasn't Sherman. Though. What was his name? Uh, Fred Sanford. Fred and, Sanford, that's right. Yeah, and then his son was uh, – what was his name? Um, Bobby? I don't know. No, I'll think of it in a minute. It'll pop in when you least expect it. <laughs> So here we go, the tip-off delivered by Madison Drug. Visit madisondrug.com. Madison Drug offering 
COVID-19 vaccinations, if you're still thinking about getting that. They've got the boosters over there as well at Madison Drug on the corner of East Main and Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. Also offering free delivery for your prescription at Madison Drug, again, on the corner of East Main and Big Hill Avenue in Richmond. You know, coming into this, Michael, I never dreamed this would be the starting lineup. So here we go. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, no Jaden West anymore. No Jalen Davis tonight. And good hustle to start the ball game by Mullins. It'll be great crossing basketball. As the visiting team. Great crossing coach Steve Page wearing that mask down right now. Up and down with it. That's what most coaches are doing on the sideline now. Depends on their policy at their school system. Here come the Warhawks with the basketball. We still see good defense from Central on this possession, opening possession of the ball game, and that shot coming off. That put back up and good by Godfrey as he gets the Warhawks on the scoreboard first and some early pressure by Great crossing, and this is where Parker Mullins has really got to step up his game. Take care of the basketball, get it up the floor, and set up the offense for the Indians. Now Steele on here, turnover. Mullins in the corner. There's a turnover. Outlet to Godfrey, and he'll try to slam it home. He did. Actually got enough yeah. of it to throw down the dunk. He's got all four for the Warhawks, and now Trey Skaggs are bringing up the four for the Indians. Godfrey, 6'6". Six, six. Moreno, 6'8". Six, you can't that, – that's just – that's tall timber, folks. Skaggs the turnover. Layup at the other end, and Feldhouse has seen his Indians fall behind 6-0 early. As turnovers, already two of them for the Indians, and great crossing has scored on all three possessions. Here's Will Harden, deep in the left corner. Swing it around to Mullins. Now up top to Skaggs. Kicked over to Steele on the right wing. Steele up top to Harden. Got Reno up in the air. Harden pump fakes four times and finally gives the – Ball off to steal. Now Skaggs driving in. Trey yeah. will lay it in. Got to have that tonight, Trey. Good job. And I like the matchup of Moreno guarding Harden because that brings Moreno away from the basket, and he's already the career blocks leader at Great Crossing. He's only had a program for three years, but still Moreno, only a freshman, so keep that in mind as well. Oh, I know. They look inside of the big man. The freshman goes up and in on wow. Todd and lays it in. Wow. That's strong, strong move. The left hand, skyhook. Here's Harden. Little floater for Will comes off, gets his own rebound, leans in, had it blocked. Ball tipped away, central hustling, steal on the floor. We got a foul as a great crossing player falls on him. It's number 22, Ty Sherman. 5.43 to play in the first quarter. Harden will throw it in for Central as they try to get something going offensively early on. Here is Harden. Finds a little crease. Dropped it off for Todd. Todd has to corral it and stepped out of bounds. And another turnover for Central. Man. That's three of them already. Yeah, they, that's not what Coach wants right now. And he, you can tell he's pacing a little bit. Not super upset, but knows that they've got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. Harden gets a steal. Central forces a turnover. Will going to lay it up. Tough shot. Won't go. And Mullins going to be called for the foul. The foul is on number 20, Parker Mullins. That's his first. One on each team now. Here's Greg crossing with the ball to go right side, looking inside to Godfrey, who's got four of the eight points already. Kicked it out. That's Richardson. Back over to Dawson, their top scorer. He's yet to get going. Todd takes that matchup defensively. Now Harden switches off. Back to Richardson inside Godfrey, working on Todd. Good defense from Robbie Todd, wow. a better offense, and great crossing on top 10 to 2. Here comes Skaggs up the floor for Central. Trey all the way in, laying it off for Todd. Steele in the corner. A little floater from Elijah. Steele won't go down. Todd the rebound, kicked out to Mullins. Now back to Steele on the right wing. Elijah looking in to Todd. Finds a cutting Trey Skaggs who gets in. Lost the handle on it. Parker Mullins comes away with it. Lays it off for Todd deep in the left corner. Todd bounce feed to Steele. And to Harden at the elbow. Back to a cutting Steele. Blocked out of there by Moreno. Oh. And Allen Feldhouse can't believe it. 
Dawson Rule down there on the sideline. And Dawson, what did you see on that block? Do you think it was a foul? Yeah, Feldhouse thought that was a foul, but they're not going to give it to him. He sure got hit hard, and Central's been trying to work it down low the entire game. They just haven't been having much luck so far. Back to you, Michael. It's Dawson Rule down there on the sidelines for us. Appreciate Dawson. Well, that's one good thing there is he, he's human. He committed a personal foul, leading the team with six points thus far, and Harden. gets another rebound. Yeah, Harden tried to quickly get that one away, but Moreno on him couldn't get it to fall. Now here's a three from Dawson that'll come off. Moreno just too big, gets the rebound, runs into a Robbie Todd block, and the Indians have the basketball down by eight. Harden to steal, back to Harden. Pump fakes and leans in and draws a foul. Three free throws coming up for Will Harden. Are they staying on the floor here? Oh, they're staying on the floor. in oh, Coach Feldhouse can't believe that call either. That's Godfrey. That's his second, so... Get him out of the game. That's going to help a little bit there. They got two guys in there that can just pretty much score at will. Gottfried and Moreno. Come into Steele. Steele comes into Skaggs in the corner. Trey looking in, going to work on the defense of Burrell. Comes off the bench. Harden to Mullins. Parker from the left wing. He'll drive in, lay it off for Todd. Elbow jumper. Good. Nice shot by Robbie Todd. The transfer from Rowan County making an impact. His dad, the women's basketball coach at EKU, just got that job this year. Now the Central Indians drop back into a 2-3 zone. We see them use this last year, Tom. Here's Burrell. Kicks it up top. It's number three, Stakeland. Gets yeah. it back. Now back over to Burrell. Right wing three. Short, rebound to Stakeland, and they drop it inside. Dawson lost it. Moreno has it. Ball tipped around. It's loose, hot potato action, and the Indians come away with it. Here's Trey Skaggs to Mullins. Mullins, corner three, way off. Skaggs, the offensive rebound. His putback won't go. Harden right there. He can't get it to fall. And the Indians, Tom, it looks like they're worried about Moreno, who was probably yeah. 10 feet away from him on that play. <laughs> yeah. Dawson's layup won't go. Todd the rebound, and a jump ball is called. Central will get possession, and nothing going the way of the Indians right now. Where's that fan that was yelling over the back? Yeah. Marino all over the back of Harden on that one. Yeah, Coach Phil <laughs> <laughs> can't believe the call. He just gave the referee a stare down. That's one person I don't want to be on the other end of a stare down from. <laughs> yeah, he He's had plenty of practice, that's for sure. Skaggs thought he was fouled, turns it over. Indians struggling with keeping the possession right now. Nice feed, Burrell floater comes off. Harden had the rebound tipped away, Indians get possession. Well, they could have called a foul on, on uh, number one there, Dawson, on that uh, play near the, the uh, baseline, Michael, but they didn't, and uh, it'll be Madison Central ball. Central's defense hasn't been bad. It's been on this end where they've struggled mildly here in the first quarter. Yeah, Just can't offensive get anything end. going offensively. Need to get a shot to go down, and then that'll... Yeah, if Coach Feldhouse says, come on, Trey, and that was a, b a bad pass from Skaggs right there who tried to feed it to the left wing from behind the midcourt line. Got to get a better angle on that pass if for Trey Skaggs. Skaggs picks up his dribble here and now goes right wing to steal. Elijah in the corner to Harden. Harden back to Mullins. Working on the defense of Stakeland. Now Todd to Mullins. They look it inside to Harden. Bad pass. Turnover. Yeah. Mm. And Coach Feldhouse, I mean, not only you can do, you got young guys out there who aren't used to playing with this kind of in your face pressure defense. There's really not a whole lot you can do. Yeah, it's. It's uh, you don't have time to think. You've got to have that instinct as to where to put the ball. And that comes in practice and working hard in practice. Here's Dawson, the top scorer for Great Crossing. He's yet to put a bucket in for the Warhawks. In the hands of Walls, now back over to Burrell. Walls will try a three. Comes off. Moreno jumped too soon on the rebound. Burrell comes away with it. He can't finish. Moreno right there to put it back. Again, it comes off. Ball tipped around. Back to Madison Central. Again, the defense doing their job, but we need some buckets on this end if you're an Indians fan. Well, a lot of contact. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> it's just, I, you know. Skaggs with it. Over to Mullins. Here's Elijah Steele. Double team, Harden open in the corner. We need this three, and Harden gets it to fall. 
See if that'll take the lid off the rim for Madison Central. Point number 800 in the career of Will Harden right there with a three. Nearing the 1K mark for a player that really didn't come on the scene till the final game of his sophomore year. Moreno, the offensive rebound, put back, won't go. Ball tipped around. Skaggs has it for Central. Indians can tie with the three. Nice defense oh, by Stakeland. Wow. He'll attack the other way. And good defense by Todd to get back defensively and kick that one out of bounds. Detroit uh, Red Wings would like him. That was a skate yeah. save on that pass. Harden tips the entry pass. Yeah, Michael Harden now with 800 career points and with two rebounds tonight already, he's got uh, 390 career rebounds. He could be one of the few players in Madison Central history to end up with 1,000 points and 500 rebounds. Yeah, Harden's been a special player. He's been so much fun to watch. His shot, I wish I could shoot half as good as Will Hart. He's pure, just pure shot. Here's Walls. They go back in to Dawson. Swung around to Stakeland. Now Walls deep in the left corner. They're trying to get it inside to Moreno, working the clock here. Final possession of the first quarter, looks like. Good job of moving without the ball on the far side of that Mullins zone. Mullins pokes it. Steele will try to lay it in. Moreno chasing him down, and that's, that should be a goal 10. It will be. Basket will count as the first quarter comes to an end. Good defense by Parker Mullins. Elijah Steele, the two points as the first quarter comes to an end. It's 10-9. Indians down by a point to Great Crossing. We'll come right back on WBON-TV Channel 9. Citizens Guarantee Bank makes banking on the go a breeze. Banking on the go has never been easier with options like balance inquiries, make payments from any mobile device, transfer funds between accounts, activate or deactivate a card with just a tap. And with mobile checking deposit, you can deposit checks straight into your eligible checking account using your iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Take advantage of all these fast, convenient, and secure services of Citizens Guarantee Bank. Mobile carrier charges and rules and restrictions may apply. See bank for details. Citizens Guarantee Bank member FDIC. Equal housing with. Can you get into your doctor's office the day you call? The best medical practitioner is there when you need them. At White House Clinics, all patients get easy VIP access to exceptional care. Right now, White House physicians are accepting new patients in Jackson, Madison, Estill, Rockcastle, and Garrett counties. Go to whitehouseclinics.com or one of our nine state-of-the-art facilities to request a new patient appointment. We're back here at Madison Central High School. Indians down by a point, and Dawson Rule down there on the sidelines. Dawson, what was Coach Feldhouse telling his guys there in between quarters? Well, like always, he's been preaching defense, getting a hand in players' faces for great crossing, playing more physical. Central was able to cut to that lead at the end of the first quarter, but they were struggling for a while. So Feldhouse and his assistant coaches were just preaching, playing defense, getting in front of the great crossing players. That's all I got for you, Michael. Thanks, Dawson, down there on the sideline. And have to come back to action here in the second quarter, a three-pointer up and in by Burrell to get the Warhawks back to a four-point lead. And, doesn't surprise me that Coach Feldhouse is preaching defense. That's what he's always talked about with his team. And a turnover here by Trey Skaggs. That might be one thing he talks about at halftime. Say, hey, can we stop turning the ball over? Moreno got it blocked by Todd. And here comes Trey Skaggs up the floor for Central. Skaggs on the drive. Elijah Steele with it. Has two points already for the Indians. Lays it off for Harden. Wheel trying to be a shot creator. That ball was off the foot of a great crossing player. Harden tries to save it, and somehow that ball goes off the Warhawks. Indians will keep possession. Great hustle by the senior, Will Harden. Mysteries are us. I have no clue how yeah. it went off the great crossing player. Nice hustle, though, by Will, man. He, he's uh, giving the body up for the ball right there. Here's Todd, guarded by Moreno. Over to Steele. Now Skaggs trying to feed it inside to Harden. Skaggs makes a move. Cross the way, left wing, three on the way. Todd, no good. And over the back call against Moreno. I'm surprised. That's his first. 13-9 as Trey Skaggs will trigger it in. Coming into Harden on the elbow. Harden pump fakes, leans in. Shot too hard, and Moreno the rebound. And again, even when Moreno doesn't affect the shot. 
physically, he can affect it mentally for players because they know he's somewhere around. Put back up and in by Godfrey, who's, or make that uh, Dawson who's in there for the Warhawks. Top scorer for them. That's his first bucket, I believe, Yeah, right? it is. Back to a six-point lead. Yeah, Harden. Got Godfrey, six, is leading all scorers right now. Yeah, Harden's so smooth. Right there, he, he knew that the defender had his hand kind of up in him and just kind of moved his arm to where the official had to call the foul. So that's the first foul on Dawson. Richardson back in the game for great crossing. And Ethan Payne for the first time comes in. Malachi Moreno, the freshman out. Here's Todd. Left wing with it, up top to Harden. Threw it away. Todd really wasn't looking where he threw it. And Dawson lays it in at the other end. Eight-point lead for Greg Crossing. Trace Gags with it for the Indians. Harden on the left wing. Looking in to Todd against Payne. Robbie Todd gets it. Backing his way in, out to Skaggs, open three. Skaggs in and out, rebound to Payne. And here come the Warhawks. Walls with it, driving in, off the glass, no good. Rebound coming in, Robbie Todd tried to track it down. Offensive rebound, Dawson for three. Great crossing, can't knock down the triple. And the Indians secure the board. Here's Parker Mullins in the corner steal. He'll try a three. Short. Todd goes up high for the rebound. Robbie back up. No good. Got his own rebound again. Still can't get it to fall. Ball tipped around. Great crossing. Comes away with it. And nothing going in the basket for Madison Central. Burrell on the attack. Lays it off for Walls. Kicked over to Richardson. Into Dawson. Turnaround jumper. Good. Ten-point lead. Largest of the night for great crossing. Timeout Madison Central. We'll step aside for a 30-second break. We'll come right back here to Richmond with the Indians down by 10 on WBONTV.com. Batteries Unlimited in Richmond can energize you when your batteries fade out. They can also cut and make most home and automobile keys, replace and program key fobs, and make copies of your house keys. Plus, cell phone screen repair. Bring in your Apple or Samsung today. We are your home for all batteries. Go see Chris at Batteries Unlimited, commercial drive in Richmond. Back here in Richmond on WBON-TV, Samantha Burford will talk to Alan Feldhouse at halftime, get his thoughts, and see what they can do offensively. There's still 4.57 left in this second quarter. Malachi Marino back in the game for the Warhawks. Harden left wing. And to Todd, Robbie leans in, blocking foul, and two free throws coming up for the senior. Tom, we got a trivia question again. I know you like these. I love them. So Madison Central made their first appearance to the Sweet 16 in 1987. We're getting closer to when I was yeah, around. Yeah. That year the tournament had just or had its highest amount of ticket sales to date. How many total tickets were sold for that tournament that year in 1987, the first time Madison Central made it to the Sweet 16? Todd splits a pair of free throws. We'll give you the answer to that trivia question later on in the broadcast. Tell my guy JT, he is just a wealth of knowledge. He's good. Todd gets a second free throw again. Made or missed the second one a moment ago. There was a lane violation, so we'll tack on an extra point. It's 19-11, 443 to play in the 2-3 zone once again for Madison Center, who's yet to sub anybody just yet. Four points for Todd now. Burrell for three. Short, you got a rebound when you're in the zone. Indians don't do it. And a late foul call against Steele will give the Warhawks a three-point play opportunity with Dawson. Yeah, Dawson didn't score in the first quarter, but he's making up for it. He's got eight already. We still got 431 to go second quarter. Yeah, he's halfway to his average and halfway there in the second quarter, and now he's got nine. Four and a half to play. Indians down by 11. Largest lead for the Warhawks. Trace Cags up the floor, finds Mullins. Kicked around, swung over to Harden, left wing. Inside, Mullins got open for a minute. Now Todd, open three. Robbie Todd knocks down the triple. Robbie Todd. Robbie Todd's show tonight, maybe. Don't need some more of it if you're an Indians fan. Here's Walls. 
Back over to Burrell. Got to get out if you're in this zone. There are some shooters on the Warhawks team. Burrell's one of them. So is Walls. Corner three. It's good. Wow. Rattled that home. It's a nice answer by Walls as it pushes the lead back to 11. Trey Skaggs up the floor for Central. Yeah, Robbie Todd, Mike, only a 26% three-point yeah. shooter, so it's good to see him hit a couple here. Skaggs, the size advantage on Walls, and he uses it to his advantage as he backs his way down and scores the, the bucket on the lay-in. Back down to single digits, nine-point lead, and Central goes back to the man-to-man -man defense. Walls guarded by Skaggs. On the drive, good block by Harden. Ball tipped around, put back up, comes off Mullins. Just couldn't corral it. It's going to go off of Mullins out of bounds. I'll tell you what, there's been so many times during this game here in the first half where the ball just kind of went up in the air and been tipped around by everybody. Yeah. Coming into Walls. You know, Malachi Moreno doing for great crossing what Isaiah Cozart did for so long for Madison Central. When yeah. you got a guy like that, back there, and even on defense, you know, you, you know you've got him back there. To, if you get beat, he can be a guy that can make up for it, maybe get a block shot. But on offense, even when he's not scoring, he can do many things by keeping balls alive with his length. That time, Will Harden got the block. Robbie Todd will try another three. Good wow. again. He's red hot. RT, baby, RT from three. Gets a smile from Dad over there on the bleachers. And a 11-point lead trimmed down to six for Craig Crossing. Dawson tries to answer, and he banks oh, it home. Oh, oh. First national wide open. <laughs> we'll give him the Citizens Guarantee Bank three-pointer there. There you go. Banking it home. Here's Will Harden on the left wing. I mean, Dawson's right up in him. Todd thought about a three again, thinks better of it, and turns oh. it over. Was trying to feed it to Skaggs' back door as a – a good pass, good idea, but Skaggs wasn't really expecting it, and that causes the turnover. And not only that, but Gage Richardson, too, stepped in that uh, uh, lane to try to keep him from going to the basket, so double whammy on that play. Yeah, Dawson, what he's up to now, 12 points? He's almost got his first yeah. time, or his uh, stat line, his total points in the first half already. Here's Walls for three. Way off, and Moreno over the back. Yeah. That's been, that has gone on since the beginning of the game. Now, whether or not the officials will call that, if they do, uh, he's not going to see a whole lot of playing time tonight. Well, good job by Todd to make sure he had the position in front of Moreno as his second foul, and Todd will go to the free throw line for the one and one. Last time Todd was at the line just a moment ago, he made the first, missed the second, but there was a lane violation, so he got another free throw and made it. So he was two for two because the lane violation yep. saved him on that miss. Makes that one three of three is Todd. How about 11 for Todd? Make it 12 right here with your second free throw. Puts it up. Puts it in. Oh, yeah. 28-21, seven-point lead for great crossing. Central hanging around here. One fifty-one to play. Nice floater. Burrell puts Whoa. it in. I like that. Nice little touch. We got Dawson Rule down on the sideline. Dawson, talk about what you've seen inside from Moreno on the side of the court that you're on. He's just been bullying down low. Of course, his size, he's a little bit bigger than everybody, but Robbie Todd's been on him most of the game, and they've been yelling at Robbie to put a body on him. But Moreno has been getting his own so far. Uh, besides that, I mean, it's pretty been pretty physical down low, even when he's not in the game. Of course, he's got two fouls right now. But back to you, Mike. Thanks, Dawson. Appreciate it. 30-23 for the Will Harden basket inside. And that time, Harden doing a good job, Tom, of getting inside and getting two defenders up in the air and scoring the basket. Very good at doing that. And uh, we may see a whole lot more of that here in the second half of this one. Dawson on the attack. Trey Skaggs takes that matchup defensively. To go to Dawson as he comes to save his teammate Burrell, who kind of got in no man's land. Dawson, again, with Trey Skaggs staying right there with him. Good defense by Skaggs. Yeah, Skaggs playing an excellent D against number one. On the drive, Burrell again leans in, throws up a wild shot, and I think he kind of sold it there to the official. Good job by Burrell. That's a veteran move by a freshman. 
of just knowing where the defense is, drawing the contact, and making sure the official saw it as you kind of flail your body up in the air and get the personal. And you throw it up and, and pray it goes in. It didn't, though. Taking in the game for the Warhawks, Taquan Stakelin and Ty Skurman. Like the shoes out there by Janias Burrell. And he looks over to the depth section, tells him to quiet down. He made his free throw. It was a nine-point lead. <laughs> Here's Mullins with it for Central. Finds Todd. Robbie on the wing, looking in, going to work his way in. Throws up a tough shot, won't get it to fall. Harden the rebound, Harden the putback. Yeah, Harden doing it, man. He's, he's, uh, he's, got, he's sniffing it out right now. Central going inside and using it to their advantage. Here's Burrell with it again. He's kind of got hot in the second quarter as well. Lost the handle here, able to get it back. Mullins hits the deck as the second quarter comes to an end. Samantha Burford down there with Alan Feldhaus Jr. Let's get his thoughts. All right, Coach, between quarters and daring all the timeouts, you've been preaching defense, obviously, so let's talk about that. Yeah, we're just trying to mix them up a little bit. The zone worked if they hit two or three threes, and we're not going to stand back and let them hit two or three threes, so we went back to our man. We just got to keep fighting. When you're, when you're shorthanded, you just got to keep fighting. We got to have some of those other guys to step up and, and hit a shot every once in a while. We're all right, though. We're all right. You got a little bit of different, obviously, your lineup's a little bit different than what we started the season with. But you're getting some experience out of your two seniors. Talk yeah, I mean, about I that. I think it'll help out when we get Jalen back that Eli and Parker's had that, you know, game experience. So, uh, but still, they're getting some open shots. They got to knock one of those shots down there for us. All right, thanks, Coach. Right. Good luck. All right, we're going to take that quick commercial break, and then you can come back and hear all the halftime after this message. Looking for some fun this fall? The Galaxy Bowling Center has a league for you. No matter your skill level, you can come out, make some new friends, and have a great time. Call 624-4444 for details. Or if you're more of a trivia person, Champions Bar and Grill has you covered every Tuesday starting at 7 with great prizes and all-you-can-eat wings for only $19.99. Why go anywhere else? The Galaxy Bowling Center and Champions Bar and Grill. Your ticket to fun just off I-75, exit 87 in Richmond. Hometown Dental prides themselves on being on the cutting edge of the latest dentistry technology. In a time where safety and their customers' well-being is of the highest importance, Hometown Dental is taking every precaution necessary, like by allowing patients to fill out their paperwork online before coming in for their first visit. Visit HometownDentalRichmond.com to see what sets Hometown Dental apart from the rest. They accept most insurances and want you to know they are here to help. Hometown Dental on Atwood Drive in Richmond or visit their offices in Stanford and Lancaster. When I started to experience the world from practicing law, it showed me that there's a lot of injustice that can be corrected. We're called personal injury attorneys, but I'm not there for the injury. I'm there for the recovery. And that's what we try to do. We try to help people recover after they've been hurt. If the big firms are going to drop you as soon as your claim entails some kind of work, some kind of additional effort, why not just come to someone who's going to put the work in in the first place? At Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry, the health and safety of our patients is important. Along with following CDC guidelines, we have added a Jade unit, a medical grade air purifier in every operatory. Our new patient special, x-rays, exam, cleaning, and fluoride is only $99. We offer patients single visit restorations on crowns, bridges, inlays, onlays, and veneers with CIRAC. We are equipped to handle all your dental needs from implants, teeth whitening, root canal therapy, and more. Call Jones Family and Cosmetic Dentistry at 859-985-0201. Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling has the largest showroom in Central Kentucky with all the power sports products you can dream of for your next adventure. Gateway Cycles has a qualified, certified service department, friendly sales staff so you can ride free and play hard. Local people serving local people. We are here to make your dream a living adventure. Stop in and see us today at Gateway Cycles in Mount Sterling or visit us at gatewaycycles.com. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today with no payments for six months and low rates. There's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. 
At Madison Drug, Charles and his staff know your time is valuable and will work to get you in and out quickly. We have a convenient drive through and offer free delivery. For vaccinations, just walk right in. No appointment necessary. Madison Drug, Richmond's hometown pharmacy. Back here on WBON-TV Channel 9, Tom Gross, Michael Watkins here with you at the half. It's the Bishop's Small Engine Repair Halftime Show at Bishop's, a variety of outdoor power equipment is second to none. Visit Bishop Small Engine Repair on North Estill Avenue in Richmond to see all the latest brands available at Bishop's. And Tom, we look at the score, 32-25. And I feel like if you're Madison Central, with the way you played offensively, you've got to feel good right now, only down by seven. Yeah, a lot of opportunities lost, especially in that first quarter. Yeah. They just couldn't find the handle to the basketball, and it, they seemed to be shook up over nothing. You know, that's what it looked like. Yeah. And uh, then once they settled down a little bit, and as you heard Coach say, you know, we uh, they hit a couple of threes, and we had to bring them back out man-to-man. -man. And I was going to say that earlier, but the action was going so fast. Yeah. But he loves man-to-man -man defense, yeah. and yeah. he's going to play man-to-man -man if he can. Uh, he'll play it an entire game. So when he has to go to a zone, it, that, that's when he does it, he, when he has to. But uh, he won't stay there long. He'll be back in the man-to-man -man defense. Well, you know, that's what he's always known for. That's what, known, that's what he's always had. But last year he kind of, you know, realized, you know, I've got uh, uh, not – he wasn't very deep last year. So he realized, you know, I, I can go to a zone. And he used that during the regular season just to kind of preserve some energy for his guys. Then what he found out was – you know what, we've got enough length and enough athleticism that we can play this zone defense and we can use it to our advantage and teams don't expect us to play a zone defense because we're always playing a man-to-man. -man. So it worked out in their advantage last year. Obviously in the first half it didn't because Greg Crossing was able to knock down a few three-pointers, but the Indians down by just seven here at the half. And look at some of these numbers, Tom. You know, that for, for scoring-wise, Dawson, the top scorer for Great Crossing, averaging 16.8 points per game. Since did a great job on him defensively in the first quarter, held him scoreless, then he scores 12 points in the second quarter. Yeah, alone. yeah. A good scorers are going to get their points. It doesn't matter when they come. They're going to come sometime during the evening, and he came out in that uh, second quarter on a mission and, uh, you know, hit a three ball as well as uh, four deuces and a free throw, so a three-point play there, and, uh, wow, you know, the, the kid can do it. Yeah. Malachi Moreno really hasn't been a factor for the most part. He's only got two points. The freshman with four rebounds does have the one block shot, but I feel like Central's done a really good job of, of limiting what he's been able to do out there tonight. And uh, I think if they can keep doing that in the second half, they'll have a really good shot to come back and win this ball game. Yeah, I, if I'm coach right now, I'm, I'm concentrating on the problem areas. Yeah. And uh, early on, I, I think he knew it was nerves and – you got a couple of guys in there that's, you know, that aren't going to come out and start every game. So uh, I thought Steele did a really good job yeah. in that first half tonight. Yeah, and you look at the turnovers, it felt like there were a lot more, but there were only nine turnovers. Yeah. That's not yeah, as that's many not as I thought they had. I would have thought that was probably up in the, the early, you know, maybe 13 or 14 by the right. way it looked. But I think they just happened at such bad times, it felt like there were more of them. But only nine turnovers there in the first half for Central. They did uh, force four turnovers as well on the other side of the ball. But for the Indians, getting a big first half from Robbie Todd, and we saw what he did there in the first half with 12 points. Harden unable to get going early on, but he kind of settled in himself with seven points and six rebounds for Harden. And if Central wants to win this ball game, one of those two guys, Todd or Harden, or, or both of them, have got to really step up their game offensively and put up some, some points here in the second half. You know, we've seen flashes of greatness out of Trey Skaggs, too, but it's like he'll, he'll take it and go in and score. He scored four points in the game thus far, but, uh, you know, he, he needs to have that mentality the entire game. Indians down by seven at the half. We'll step aside for another commercial break, and we'll come right back here on WBON-TV Channel 9. Locally family owned and operated Bluegrass Restoration and Construction is a full service construction company offering full service home maintenance. Bluegrass Restoration specializes in wind, fire and water damage and mold remediation. With 24-7 emergency services, Bluegrass Restoration and Construction is here to serve you during any emergency. All their services are performed in-house with no subcontractors. No job is too big or small for Bluegrass Restoration and Construction. Give them a call at 859-353-1133 
free. It's frustrating when something unexpected happens to our vehicles. That's why Chris Thorne and the staff at CT Diesel Repair are here to ease that burden. They offer roadside service, can come haul your vehicle to the shop, and will keep you updated throughout the entire process. One thing that keeps our vehicles performing at their highest level is the tires we put on them. CT Diesel has great deals on tires right now, just in time for the colder weather ahead. Mention this ad and get a free rotating balance with any oil change at CT Diesel Repair. Visit ctdiesel.us for more information. Batteries Unlimited in Richmond can energize you when your batteries fade out. They can also cut and make most home and automobile keys, replace and program key fobs, and make copies of your house keys. Plus, cell phone screen repair. Bring in your Apple or Samsung today. We are your home for all batteries. Go see Chris at Batteries Unlimited, Commercial Drive in Richmond. Granite, marble, and quartz for any surface. Make a lifetime commitment you won't regret. Back here on WBON TV, Channel 9, Tom Gross, Michael Watkins, and Tom, we got a seven-point game at the half. We appreciate you joining us here on the Bishop's Small Engine Repair Halftime Show at Bishop's. The variety of outdoor power equipment is second to none. Visit Bishop's Small Engine Repair on North Estill Avenue in Richmond to see all the latest brands available at Bishop's. We got a lot of viewers watching the Warhawks from Warhawk Country tonight in Scott County. Yeah, appreciate all the followers and listeners, wherever you're viewing the game from. We appreciate you, whether you're watching on the stream, on Facebook, YouTube, Roku, or the website, or if you're watching us on the w, uh, on the uh, WBON TV TV channel here in Richmond, or if you're watching over in Estill County on Urban Community Television, on PRTC Cable up in Jackson, Lee, or Owsley County, or maybe you're watching on... Uh, the cable system up there in Powell County, Crystal Broadband. Wherever you're watching from, we appreciate you joining us here, folks. Dawson Rule. Dawson is down there on the sideline, and Dawson uh, can kind of give us an update on maybe what he saw here in just a moment. But we appreciate uh, the folks here being with us. Here's Robbie Todd with it for the Indians. That's going to be the second foul on Vince Dawson. So Dawson with two, Godfrey with two, and Moreno with two. Harden gets it on the elbow. Over to Trey Skaggs. Now back to Harden. He'll pump fake. Lean in. Will. Try a little okie doke on him, Tom. Didn't get it to fall. No, I like the okie doke, and he's really good at the okie doke if he can get a clean move on the inside. Here's Steele with it, out to Harden. He'll try a three, lift it oh. short a little bit. Harden got his own rebound, though. Reverse layup is good, and now oh. Dawson's ready for us. Uh, we'll send it, send it back down to Dawson rule and see what Dawson saw there as the team came out of the locker room. Dawson? Yeah, when Feldhouse pulled his team together, he was specifically pointing towards his younger guys, Parker, Mullins, and Eli Steele, asking them to step up, seeing what they could do in this second half so far, seeing if they could get the point scored. The, the uh, upperclassmen were scoring a lot for Central and leading the way, but he specifically pointed out to the two younger guys, seeing what they could get out of him in this second half. Back to you, Michael. Thanks, Dawson. That's exactly what he told Samantha, too, was – I need those guys to make a shot every now and then. That's what he's asking of them here in this second half. But the Indians now down by five. Still wasn't expecting the, the pass back out from Harden. They get it back to Will deep in the left corner. Harden backing his way down over to Skaggs. Out the tide. Open three for Robbie. He's made two of them tonight, oh, Tom. Oh, maybe. That's his, his third. third. That's right. Yeah. It's his third three. Forgot about the one from the right wing in the second quarter. He's made three of them tonight. Three for four tonight, eight rebounds for Harden already in this game. So back come the Indians. Central down by just two. A nice little run here in this third quarter to get things going. Richardson for three. It's a big answer for yeah. the Warhawks. Gage knocking down the triple. 
That's his first basket of the game. Mullins at the other end finds Steele. Steele really not looking for his shot. He gets it back to Mullins. Guarded by Dawson. Swung over to Skaggs. Trey going to work his way in. Lost the handle off the foot of Skaggs. Out of bounds. Back to the Warhawks. And not a good game for Skaggs thus far. He's struggled just trying to find something offensively. Yeah, a little disappointed in himself there. He let that ball slip out of his hands and went off his shin out of bounds. Skaggs working on Dawson. Moreno yeah. leaning, wanting that ball. Gets it. Todd, really good defense. Todd being physical with him there. And then Parker Mullen is going to be called for a shove. You guys, check that replay. replay. Let's see what happened here. As Richardson went flying on the missed shot. Yep, Mullins did get into him a little bit. Again, Richardson kind of <laughs> sold it just a hair, but he did get bumped by Mullins underneath the basket. So you're saying he'll win an Oscar. And to Moreno again. Malachi blocked by Todd, and now Todd oh. can't believe it. Tough. That's tough. We will have our trivia question answer here in just a moment. Madison Central made their first appearance to the Sweet 16 back in 1987. That year, the tournament had its highest amount of ticket sales to date. How many total tickets were sold for the tournament? We'll get that answer to you here in just a moment as Reno makes one of two free throws, I believe. Yeah, 53% at the line coming in and right at that average at 50% for the game. Skaggs goes flying, and the ball goes flying out of his hand as Dawson commits the personal. And now free throws on this end. Third on Dawson. That could be big as the top scorer for the Warhawks picks up his third personal foul. Well, you get him and Marino and Godfrey out of the game, it's a whole different ball game out there. <laughs> That's all you got to do is get their top three players yeah, out. Yeah, right? get those three out. And, and I'll tell you one thing, though. Steve Page, a good coach. He yeah immediately gets the player with three fouls out of there so he can save him for the fourth quarter. He knows this game's not going to be a blowout, that's for sure. Skaggs splits a pair to answer the split pair of free throws by Moreno at the other end, and now the Warhawks still lead it 36-31, 5.05 to play in this third quarter. Five for Skaggs now in the contest. Nice move by Richardson, but he lost the handle on it, and Central comes away with the steal. Turnover, great crossing. Parker Mullins up the floor for the Indians. Spins away from the defense. Walls right there on him defensively. Harden working it over to Skaggs. Trey back to Harden. Got some breathing room, but missed the three-pointer. Uh, in and out. Deserved a better fate. Yeah. Harden but a nice move. Got a nice look, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Godfrey back inside. Going to work in on Harden. And Harden got a piece of it from behind, Aww. but commits the foul. You know, and it's always the official – that is behind yeah. the play that makes the call on that. The other official was looking right at it, and he didn't blow his whistle. Godfrey makes the first free throw. We haven't heard from him in a while. <laughs> it's been a while. First free throw. I had to do that. First point since, what, the first quarter? Yeah. They make two. 38-31. Gilbert Godfrey, the comedian, man. I love that guy. I, I know they're not related, but it just reminded me of him. Towns made three, make oh, it four. Give him the ball. Give him that rock. Robbie Todd. 80% from three-point tonight. Doing his best Will Harden impression this evening. <laughs> he is. He's stepping up. Walls tries to answer. Can't do it. Moreno goes up high to tip it away from Todd and tips it out of bounds. And Madison Central. Hanging in there, Tom, and you don't want to let a team like Central hang in and hang around because they will eventually figure it out. The Indians down by four as Trey Skaggs brings it up the floor. Can you say career night for Robbie Todd? Here's Elijah Steele. Over to Skaggs. Todd has to go get it. Was bumped. No foul call there. Skaggs able to relieve him. Walls, good defense. Go back inside the top, working on Moreno. Kicks it out to Mullins. Now Harden, open for three. There we go. There we go. Look out. Look out. Harden knocks one down. Back-to-back -back threes by the big guys for Madison Central, and the deficit trimmed to one. 12 points for Harden now. 
Great crossing was a little bit lost offensively. Moreno trying to set a screen for Richardson. Richardson threw it to Walls. Nobody was ready for it. Todd hits the deck to Steele. Steele to Harden. Will leans in. Blocked from behind. Indians keep possession, but Steele stepped on the baseline, and Coach Feldhouse asking for a foul. Yeah, he has a right to. And there was a whole lot of contact on Harden's shot. There was a whole lot of contact down there and should have really been a personal foul called on that one. Yeah, Coach Feldhouse will get his money's worth here. This official walks by. Him and yeah. You know what? The referee says, you know what? I'll trot up the floor if that's what we're going to do. And he's had a chance to have to take the lead for the first time, maybe all game. I can't remember if they had a lead early in the game or not. No, time. they did not. Tough break there. Nice hustle to get the rebound by Parker Mullins, but he stepped on the baseline. And he is down by one. Missed a chance to take the lead. Great crossing will bring it in. They come into Waltz. He'll dribble it inside. Stops. Wow, nice little move as he got the defender to go by. Moreno blocked by Harden. Blocked from behind by Todd. Blocked again. They're eating him alive. Three times Moreno blocked inside. Once by Harden, twice by Todd, and the Indians can take the lead once again. Mullins lost it, got it back. Central still down by one. Harden, three, oh. in and out. Rebound tipped around. It'll be an over-the-back call against Elijah Steele. The house would have erupted yeah. had Harden knocked down that triple top. Yeah, a little. he rushed it just a tiny bit there, but a great effort anyway. Eli picks up number one on the night. The old who's your daddy chant coming out. <laughs> I love it. It's a classic. Moreno lost it again, and Todd gets the steal. Central having their way with the freshman right now. Malachi Moreno. Trey Skaggs going to work in on him. Kicks it out to steal. Harden, pump fakes, leans in. Three oh. will not go, but free throws coming for the senior, Will Harden. I love that. I, Cole Brown used to do that a lot, too. He'd get a guy off his feet, and had no way he could make the shot, but he'd put it up toward the basket to get the three free throws. You know, Harden's game reminds me so much, and obviously I'm not comparing the two players, but if you remember Dirk Nowitzki that played in the NBA, he yes. was so good at pump faking and just contorting his body and just doing weird things with his body that you wouldn't think he could do. And he would do a good job of getting the defender up in the air and he would hit those like fadeaways on his one foot and just do weird things that, that you wouldn't expect a player to do on the floor. That's what Harden reminds me of. He's so good at the, the pump fake and getting defenders up in the air. And he's one free throw away from giving Madison Central a one-point lead, their first lead of the ball game. Well, they only gave him two, so he apparently was on the line. But uh, the, the cool thing is he's – 92% from the free throw line. It's not bad. Season. No. We're talking Jim Masters, Kyle Macy. We're talking 90 percentile free <laughs> throw shooting in high school. You yep. don't hear of that. Warhawks looking to take the lead back with 95 seconds remaining in this third quarter. They have went stagnant offensively. Burrell trying to change that, that three-pointer way off, and Todd able to secure the rebound. Indians have the lead for the first time all game, and now they've got the basketball back trying to add to it. Mullins picks up his dribble before he crosses midcourt. Todd comes to relieve him. Robbie going to work on the defense of Moreno. Todd dribbles right, hands it off to Steele. Steele over to Mullins. Mullins feeding it in to Harden. Going to work one-on-one -on -one against Godfrey. Finds a mismatch inside with Skaggs. Back to Harden. Don't leave that guy open. Ooh. And got away with it there. Todd soars in for the rebound, but he lost it out of bounds. What a great play by Robbie Todd. It's his coming out party tonight for the Indians, man. I've never seen him play so hard this season. Well, Todd, you know, what he's done is he's been a man inside. And defensively, he has taken the matchup with Malachi Moreno and he's really forced Moreno to turn the ball over, take some tough shots, and done a really good job of, of limiting the success of the freshman big man. Three-pointer on the way. It's a good shot and a nice answer once again. That's Sherman back in there for the Warhawks, knocking down the three. Na-na-na, na-na-na-na. <laughs> so back to a two-point lead for the Warhawks. 
Nothing in this world I wouldn't do for a three. <laughs> Parker Mullins, I know what you're going to be doing if the Bengals win the Super Bowl. We've oh, already discussed that. Streaking. <laughs> you hear it, folks, right here. I will. I already – I promise. That will be our first playoff win in 30 years. Sherman make that the walls, picks up the personal as Skaggs draws it. And up near the midcourt strap, four team fouls each way now. 11.2 to play, central down by a bucket. They come in. Steel almost lost it, picks it back up. Now Mullins with it for the Indians. Left wing, they go over to Skaggs. Inside the Todd. Todd pump fakes, works his way in at the buzzer, beats yeah. the buzzer. Yeah. 41 oh, oh, oh. 41, Madison Central and Great Crossing knotted up here in the 11th region. Big game here, Tom, in Richmond. Tied at 41, step aside and come back on WBON TV, Channel 9. Get the money you need now. Apply for a home equity line of credit at Cumberland Valley National Bank today with no payments for six months and low rates. There's never been a better time to tap into your home's equity. Life can be so hectic. The most important moment in my life is my escape. The moments when I'm free from all of the notifications. The moments when I'm with you. You are my escape. Carissa Boutique, simply unforgettable. At Madison Drug, Charles and his staff know your time is valuable and will work to get you in and out quickly. We have a convenient drive through and offer free delivery. For vaccinations, just walk right in, no appointment necessary. Madison Drug, Richmond's hometown pharmacy. Madison Central tied at 41 with a great crossing. Dawson Rule down there on the sideline. Dawson, what was Coach Feldhouse saying there in the timeout? Well, he was talking to them about their new energy they found late in the third quarter to make this run to tie the ball game, to keep it up going into this fourth quarter. Pull a win. They really need a win. They're depleted without Jalen Davis tonight, seeing what they can get, and if they can pull out a gutsy win like this, told them that they could do it. Back to you, Michael. Appreciate Dawson Rule being our sideline reporter this evening. If there's one man on this floor that believes they can win, that's that's coach, man. He he knows this team can win this basketball game. 41-41. Burrell with it for the Warhawks. As he slows things down. The third leading scorer for this great crossing team. Gonna work in on Will Harden. Pulls the elbow jumper. Can't knock it down. Todd another re rebound for the senior big man inside. Who's played a well of a game for Allen Feldhaus. Thought about a three here. Todd instead kicks it out to Mullins. Now Harden deep in the left corner. Works his way out. Throws it back up top to Todd. Looking inside Steele. Drops it off to Todd. Todd lost his footing. Gets it back to Steele for three. Mm. Missed it. Todd goes up another rebound. Lays it off for Steele once again. Now it's Skaggs over to Todd. Robbie's played a monster game. Oh, he's, he's looking awesome tonight. Mullins. Laying it off for Robbie Todd. Leans in, missed it. Fighting for the rebound again, and great crossing, able to sneak away with it. But a great job by Steele to take it away. Steele gets it for the Indians. Skaggs works his way in. Floater too hard. Todd the rebound to Harden. Three. Good! <laughs> 17 for Will Harden. It's not been an easy game for Harden, but that time the three falls and the Indians take a lead. Check this replay out, folks. Todd to Harden, dropping it like it's hot. It's Will Harden, 4-3, and the Indians in front, 44-41. And the crowd goes crazy. Like Tom Gross walked back in the building. I know. It's, it's unbelievable. Hey, listen. That three-pointer was beautiful. That's Harden's not had an easy night. He's had a rough shooting night, but oh, that yeah. one was big for Madison Central as they take their largest lead of the ball game, 44-41. I want to see you go out there and shoot against the 6'8 guy. I, and if he can jump, well, that makes it worse. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't care how big the person is uh, out there guarding me. I'm not going to make it. I don't care if it's 6'6 six, six or 5'6. <laughs> I'm probably going to miss the three-pointer. <laughs> I'd love that picture last year, uh, where you were. Were you taking the charge, or were you charging on that one? That was uh, 
floating around on the internet there. Oh, I was uh, charging against Austin Newton, the head coach of Southern. <laughs> yeah, he posted that. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, and it wasn't a charge, by the way. <laughs> he was moving his. When feet. you got somebody on the payroll. <laughs> I don't want to get into it. I'll get upset. <laughs> it's a Friday night. I get the weekend off. I'm not going to get upset with Austin Newton tonight. 44-41, three-point lead for Great Crossing. Here's Dawson. Going to try to get going offensively. He had a huge second quarter. He's been quiet every other quarter, though. Here I'm with it is Dawson driving in. Good defense by Steele. Forces the pass out to Richardson. Three won't go. Parker Mullins going up high for the rebound. Big rebound by Parker. Confidence builder. Three. Harden left it short this time. Tell you what, if there's anybody in the 11th region with the green light, it's that young man right there, Will Harden. Missed it that time. Richardson inside to Godfrey. Great job as Harden saves it off the foot. <laughs> My goodness. Wow. And I told you, folks, Will Harden does things on the hardwood you just wouldn't <laughs> expect him to do. He was on his back and rifled it off the knee of the great crossing player out of bounds. It's Indian basketball. Skaggs. There's another three. This one drops. Harden has knocked down a couple of big ones here in the fourth quarter. He's pushed the lead to six. Harden 20. Robbie Todd 20. A 20-piece McNugget for both of them. We talked about them both <laughs> having to step up offensively, and they've done just that. Give me some of that. Honey mustard, I'm ready to eat. Burrell with it for the Warhawks. Over to Nelson. Richardson with it. They look inside to Moreno. They go to him. Moreno double teamed. Blocked by Todd. Harden and Todd had done so good together against Malachi Moreno and Skirman. About to check back in here. I've been saying his name wrong. It's not Sherman, Tom. It's Skirman. Skirman, Okay. Appreciate the view letting us know. Richardson open for three. Can't get it to fall, and Harden grabs the rebound, and he's pushed from behind. If I'm counting correctly, that's rebound number 10, so a big double-double tonight for Will Harden. Harden. 47-41, six-point lead Harden double-teamed, able to secure it. And find Skaggs. Indians with possession still and a six-point lead now as we make our way halfway through the fourth quarter. Todd, let's try another one. This time too hard. Mullins the rebound. Parker gets the defender in the air. The layup won't go. Harden rebound. He's blocked by Moreno. Ball's loose. It's a foot race. And Trey Skaggs had it won for the moment. And a great job. Good hustle by Richardson, Tom. But he just could not keep his body off the baseline. Great hustle from both of them. Yeah, and it's nice to see fans from both sides of this gym applauding these players. They are playing their hearts out this evening. Let's get, a, let's get a good one in before the white death arrives on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Heart and determination with the snow on the way. Steele didn't take the three and threw it away. Indians will track it down. It'll be a backcourt violation. Yep. and. All the momentum Central had starting to kind of squeak away at the moment. We'll see if Greg Crossing can put a bucket in. Well, I'm liking this six-point lead with 4.13 to go. Get a couple of breaks here and, uh, you know, get it down there and get some offense. Build that lead. That's the, Now's the time to build your lead in the game. Dawson to Richardson. And over to Burrell. He'll work his way in. Nice wow. move. The wow. freshman with a big shot, and that ends the scoring drought for the Warhawks. Yeah, that's our first basket in this fourth quarter. Gives him nine. Central. It's, it's the shoes, man. It's the shoes. <laughs> Central's been really good defensively all night long. Their offense has finally started to come to life here in this fourth quarter. Here's Todd with it again. He'll pump fake, working it in on Moreno. Steele. Looking into Harden. Can't get it to him. Now it's Todd, top of the key. Pump fakes. Robbie Todd. Dribbles right a couple of times. Working in on Moreno. Got around him. Lays it off for Steele. Now Mullins. Now Harden. Three on the way. Mm. Short. And Todd says, I'll take care of that. Robbie Todd, another offensive rebound. We're going to have two double-doubles tonight from the Indians. Todd over to Mullins. Central trying to nurse this lead up by four, nearing three minutes to play. Steele swung over to Skaggs. Indians 
47-43 advantage and an offensive foul called against Elijah Steele as he was trying to yeah. set a screen for his teammate, Robbie Todd. Yeah, a little too much, a little too much effort on that uh, on that screen. You're usually okay on those if you're not right in front of the official. Yeah. That happened to be right in front of the official. The Indians go back to work defensively. Here's Malachi Moreno, the freshman, working it in on Todd, and another outstanding defensive play by Todd. Another rebound for Harden. Todd with it offensively. Leans in, jumper won't fall, steal the offensive rebound, poked away by Burrell, and Central will inbound it with a four-point lead under three minutes to play. I'll reiterate, Steele is really playing well tonight. What a great opportunity, and he's taking advantage of that opportunity. Well, he and Mullins have come up with some big rebounds in this fourth quarter. They come into Harden, and Harden hits the deck. He's fouled by Skirman again. Yeah, that's number four on Skirman. He didn't believe it. I'm going to put Will Harden's name in for an Oscar on that play. <laughs> yeah, Harden might have sold it a bit. Here's he Skaggs. Did. Nice entry pass, but Skaggs threw it away. Yeah. He thought Harden was going to break, and he didn't, and out of bounds it goes. Four-point lead, Central. Came back from down 11 in that second quarter. Burrell, floater won't go. Skaggs the rebound. See if Central can get an offensive possession here where they can milk some clock and get a basket out of it. Skaggs in trouble. Finds Todd. Todd has a real big advantage on spacing out there. Yeah. Bringing the big guy out all the way away from the basket. Steele on the drive. Lays it off for Skaggs. Trey to Todd. Robbie got Moreno in the air. Count the basket. The hoop and harm for Robbie Todd as he will go to the free throw line for the old-fashioned three-point play. That's third on Moreno, too. Under a deuce now, Michael. Robbie Todd, the senior, showing the freshman Malachi Moreno what experience can do for you. Malachi Moreno is going to be a great player. He's already a good player. Yeah. He's going to be really good for a long time. But tonight, Robbie Todd has had his number on both sides of the floor. Here's Moreno, Todd on it. Dawson for the jumper. Comes off. He has been cold in this second half. Rebound number 13 for Will Harden. 20 points, 13 rebound. Here is Harden over to Skaggs. Kicking it back out to Will. He'll dribble it up top, guarded by Skirman. Over to Todd. And Todd again drawing the big man out near the midcourt stripe. Robbie now backs it back. Over to Mullins, left wing. Swing it over to Harden. Will on the left side with it picked up by Skirman. Back over to Mullins. Mullins will be fouled and great crossing down by seven. Has seen this game get away from him here in the second half, Tom. Yeah, they nailed Gage Richardson on that one with the touch foul. And Let's go shoot some free throws now, guys. Let's make them. Good shooting free throw team this year. Parker Mullins misses it, but right there is Robbie Todd. And Moreno that time says, listen, I can still get mine. Got a big block there. Richardson inside. Right there is Moreno again. Yeah. He gets the block on one into the basket at the other and a timeout. Great crossing. We'll take it with them. We'll come back here on WBON-TV Channel 9. And in the spring of 1992, Bishop Small Engine Repair was born in our mom and dad's barn in Estill County. Then in the fall of 1992, we made the move to Madison County, where we are today. With the support of our family, customers, and community, we have continued to grow in the outdoor power industry. With a full line of products from Cupcadet, Grasshopper, Echo, and Shandala, we can help you tackle your yard so you can enjoy it with your family. Bishop Small Engine Repair, where our focus is our customer. Stop on in, 119 North Estill Avenue in Richmond. We can't wait to see you. Dawson rolled down on the sideline. Dawson, what's Coach Feldhouse saying to his guys to help them close out this victory? 
Well, it's going to come down to free throws here if Greg Carlson can't get a trap and a steal. And Will Harden being one of the best free throw shooters in the region right now, they want to get the ball to him. So they're, if they can get the ball to their shooters, they're going to go give it to him. That's what I got for you, Michael. Appreciate it, Dawson. And Harden had the ball for a moment. Tomba gave it back to Mullins, and they go back to fouling Parker. Yeah, Parker, 40% coming in, two for five, now two for six. But he's got a nice-looking little stroke here, so he can he can make these. Take that deep breath, stand up there like you're in fifth grade in the elementary league. There you go. Yeah. Mullins actually made the final point of the 11th region tournament, had a free throw. That, that he sunk at the final 13 or 14 seconds, whatever it was, late in that win over Frederick Douglass in the 11th region championship game last year. Yeah. Nails a couple of them here, and it's back to a seven-point lead. Yeah, he looked good on that. Burrell with it to Dawson. Three from the right wing. Comes off. Moreno the rebound and misses the putback. Parker Mullins there for the board, and he's fouled again. Yeah, I think, Mullins. I think Moreno got him that time. Yeah, and that's Moreno's fifth. My fourth foul, excuse me, for Moreno. And for Mullins, all five foot eight of him, or however tall he is, going up against the 6'9", Malachi Moreno. How about that for the youngster? Parker Mullins getting in and mixing it up with the big guys down low. Well, it's, it, it, it's an attitude by this team, by the Indians, man. They, they don't back down from anybody. No, and I think that's, that's what this culture and this program – it preaches to its players. It doesn't matter who we're playing. That's why they play, you know, 15 top 20 teams throughout the year. They play the best competition to get themselves better and ready for March, and they've done that again this season. Moreno foul this time as Harden kind of bumps him out of the way. Still only six teams fouls, six team fouls against Madison Central, so it'll be free throws the rest of the way for great crossing. Eight-point lead. Dawson gets open inside. He missed the layup. Trey Skaggs, tremendous defense. And they foul Will Harden. That's the guy you don't want to foul. No, that's a mistake. Dawson called him one of the best free throw shooters in the region. A little bit better than that. He's one of the best free throw shooters in the state. Oh, I'd say he's probably leading the state right now. I haven't seen that. He was at one point. Well, you got to have so many attempts, yeah. I think, to qualify for that. So I bet you're going to check that out for us. It's what I'm here for. It's what I get paid the big bucks to do, Tom. I love it. That's why you got that iPad. I'm going to have to invest in one of those, I think. I got my laptop, but that, that can get a little bulky. Yeah. A little heavier on you. And it, we got about 15 trips to make to get up and down the steps with all this equipment. Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> but fun. We need some interns is what we need. Yeah. You know, I never thought about that. Yeah, we need some coffee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what interns are for. I, d I was an intern one it's time. close to your bedtime. You don't want to copy this late, do you? No, I won't. Hard nails the free throw. This one can push it to a 10-point deficit for Madison Central, who at one point trailed by 11 and now lead by 10. A 21-point turnaround since about midway through the second quarter. Unbelievable. Here's Skirman on the drive, out to Richardson, three on the way. Short, Harden goes up to get the rebound. 15 rebounds for Will Harden. And they foul him again. That's number five on Moreno. And with 14 and a half seconds to play, Madison Central can sense this victory about to commence as they are sending the top free throw shooter in the state to the free throw line, Will Harden. He'll be back there after this game. Get him another one here, make it five for five in the contest. Oh, makes yeah. Makes that one. He just makes it look so easy. Six, Harden six is for six. second coming into the night at 91% behind Dante Hayden, who's at 91.5% for Danville. Well, he's ahead of him now. Yep, and Mullins gets the steal to secure this victory and wrap it up. Madison Central, 57, great crossing, 45. 
Indians with the victory. Dawson rolled down on the sideline. Dawson, one last quick note from you. What did you see from Central as they get this victory? I think Dawson's already turned us off, Tom. We'll take a commercial break, and we'll come back. We'll wrap this thing up here in Richmond on WBON-TV Channel 9. Need a physical for school or work? Need it right away? No problem. Berea Urgent Care has two convenient locations along with late hours to meet your needs. They're affordable too. Physicals at Berea Urgent Care only $20. DOT and CDL physicals are only $65. Berea Urgent Care number one by Walmart is open every day 9 to 9. Berea Urgent Care number two by Berea Drug open Monday through Friday 10 to 6. No appointment necessary. Berea Urgent Care, here when you need us. What does in transit mean? When you see that on our website at jackburford.com, it means your favorite Chevy is on the way. Call us at 859-623-3350 to reserve it, and we'll keep you updated throughout the entire process. See, it's that easy. Reserve your new Chevy today at jackburford.com. Your vehicle is now in transit. I didn't order any pizza. Jake from State Farm. After you saved me so much dough on insurance with that Parker promo, I devised a promo for you. Here's the deal, Parker. State Farm offers everyone surprisingly great rates. Right. Pepperoni pockets. Cuckoo crusties. There's no promo. It's just great rates. And a cider ranch. When you want the real deal, call State Farm agent Jerry Goble in Richmond today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Orthopedic and Sport Physical Therapy will help guide you on your road to recovery. It is our mindset, a spirit driven to excellence, to help people heal faster and better. If you have pain or an injury or you need experts in sports medicine, Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy is your best choice in rehabilitation and you have direct access. In most cases, you do not need a referral to any of our seven locations serving the region. Just give OSPTKY a call. Visit our website at OSPTKY.com to find the location nearest you. Here are some helpful tips to get your house ready for winter. Make sure your filter is changed. Typical locations are at your air handler or furnace in a filter grill or an air cleaner like this. If you have other accessories on your system, like UV lights or a humidifier, now would be the time to service those. Make sure your ceiling fans are set to clockwise rotation. Go ahead and close those foundation vents. Disconnect your garden hoses from your outdoor spigots. Have Madison HVAC keep you warm this winter. Give us a call at 859-625-1471. And remember, we fix that too. Welcome back in to Richmond, Kentucky here on WBON-TV Channel 9. Tom Gross, Michael Watkins here to wrap things up at Madison Central High School where the Indians get a big win over Great Crossing 57-45. Tom, the Indians trailed 32-25 at the half, and they hold the Warhawks to just uh, what 13 points yeah. in the second half. Tremendous defensive effort for the Indians. Yeah, and, they, and held them to two buckets in that fourth quarter. Yeah. And that man-to-man -man defense, it seemed to get better as the game went on. Coach got them on the sideline a couple times, said, hey, you got to go after them now. Let's yeah. go. Let's go get this win. And that's exactly what they did. Shorthanded, able to come out with a big victory. Man, that was probably one of my favorite wins it, by and this it was team. An impressive win, too, without Jalen Davis. You know, no more Jaden West. You got two guys who – at times this year, haven't even touched the floor, and they come out and play big minutes for you. And another impressive thing about this game, Tom, they go wire to wire with five people. Yeah, five that's players it. out there getting playing time. That's it, yeah. Here on the Hometown Dental Post Game Show, Michael Watkins and Tom Gross, folks. Hometown Dental is right here in Richmond at 4095 Atwood Drive, Suite A. They are a full service family dentistry dental group with a personal touch. And right now they're offering you $100 off of Zoom whitening treatment and free exams and x-rays for new patients. If you mention promo code WBONTV at Hometown Dental here at Atwood Drive in Richmond. Looking at some of these stats, the Indians, Tom, in the first half, nine turnovers, 14 for the game. They cleaned that up in the second half. They only forced four in the first half. They forced six. I make it seven more in the second half for 11 total. A much better – and listen, all game long their defense was there. They were playing yeah. good defense yeah. in the second half. They just couldn't get it going offensively. And what Coach Feldhouse said was, if we can keep that up, eventually our offense will come. Eventually Will Harden's shots are going to fall. And they did. 
But I think we got to give credit to what Robbie Todd did here tonight, and let's crown him our CT Diesel Performance Performance of the game. I have to agree totally. Man, I just could not believe the way he was playing out there. He hit four of five three-pointers in the contest. That's 80% yeah. from three-point land. So, uh, Robbie Todd, great job, buddy, and what a great performance. Not only did Todd play good offensively in rebounding, how about this? Seven block shots yeah. for Todd tonight. That's an and impressive And most of number. those were on Moreno. Yeah, almost a triple-double for yeah. Robbie Todd. 23 points, 11 rebounds, seven block shots, and three steals as well. Yeah. And he is our CT Diesel Performance, performance of the game. Folks, if you want your vehicle to perform at its peak performance like Robbie Todd performed tonight for Madison Central, take it over to CT Diesel Performance off exit 97 in Richmond. Like CT Diesel Performance on Facebook. And keep in mind, folks, with that winter weather heading our way, you want to make sure your tires are ready to perform when the snow is on the road. New tires available on sale right now at uh, CT Diesel Performance as well. So keep that in mind. Yeah, Robbie Todd's 23 tonight gives him an even 200 now on the as season. an Indian on the season, yes. So Todd and Harden come up big for Madison Central. 24 points, 14 rebounds for Harden. He also had a couple of blocks and steals. Those two guys did it all for the Indians tonight as they win 57-45 over Great Crossing. Tom Gross and Michael Watkins here with you folks, but it is a full crew. And uh, we, we want to say thank you to those. We also want to say thank you to Judge Robert Jennings as he provides the final verdict for Madison Central. They win 57-45. Folks, Judge Robert Jennings serves as your district court judge for Madison and Clark Counties. Judge Jennings is humbly serving and asking for your vote on November 8th of this year in order to carry on his pledge to make a positive impact on your judicial system. Please keep, or please remember to keep Judge Jennings this November, paid for by the committee to keep Judge Robert Jennings in office. Here on WBON TV, we appreciate you joining us here, folks. Uh, we got some cool programming coming up on the uh, TV channel as well. Stay tuned. Coming up for Forensic Files at 10 o'clock and back-to-back -back episodes of Forensic Files, followed by Cheaters at 11. And we'll step aside here and uh, join our regularly scheduled programming here on WBON TV Channel 9. Thanks for joining us, folks. Stay safe this weekend. For Alex Carbosh, Dawson Rule, Samantha Burford, Gay Chill, this guy Tom Gross, I'm Michael Watkins. We'll see you next time on WBON TV Channel 9.